Hello, this is Kevin Amon. I work in the Applications Department at x and I'm going to explain a little bit about uh, monitor calibration today. In a color managed workflow, it is critical to begin with a calibrated and profiled display. And before you begin profiling your display, there's uh, a couple of things that you have to keep in mind. First of all, the display should be on and warmed up for at least 30 minutes before profiling. Secondly, make sure that the display is clean uh, and you can get a uh, monitor cleaners at any computer store. Uh, third, uh, familiarize yourself with the menu or the on-screen display. Uh, this particular display uh, menu opens up right in the center of the monitor. It would be a good idea to use the on-screen display settings feature of this menu to move the menu out of the middle third of the screen by going into the on-screen display settings and moving it over to the far right. That way when we begin profiling with the instrument in the center of the screen, the on-screen display doesn't get in the way. I'm going to uh, do a little demonstration on how you might want to profile your display with i1 Pro and i1 Match using the easy method in i1 Match software. Open i1 Match by going to all, Start All Programs, Great Tag Macbeth, and then i1 Match 3. In a Mac, Macintosh computer, you would want to select the i1 Match 3 icon in the Applications folder. When you get to the home screen, you'd select the monitor and then the easy method and then select the forward arrow. You would select your monitor type. I'm doing an LCD and I will go forward from there. At this point, it asks you to place the instrument in the cradle that has the cow plaque and either press the button on the side of it or the calibrate button in the software to calibrate the device. At this point I'd like to tell you that when you're profiling an easy method it is making the assumption that you're happy with the current white point and the current luminance of your monitor so it's not going to be making any changes to your current white point uh, or color temperature of your monitor or it won't make any changes to your luminance level. So let's go forward from the calibration window and it's going to ask you to place the instrument on the display, on the monitor. You do that by using the monitor holder in aligning the notches, the cutouts on the reed head with the locking tabs in the monitor holder and then rotating it down into place and then placing it on the, on the monitor as in the software illustration. Place the weight over the back, place it in the center, and click the forward arrow in the software. The software will now begin to uh, throw uh, white panels, white boxes around to locate the device so that then uh, it will project the colors under the read head of the device. After it locates the device, it will start throwing red, green, blue, all different color patches, and it's throwing known values to the monitor, and the instrument is measuring the actual colors that the monitor is reproducing. And what happens is it uses the uh, the theoretical uh, colors versus the actual colors and it will build a lookup table between what what color was supposed to be on the monitor versus what it displayed and that lookup table becomes that profile. For time purposes we will continue forward to the summary screen it will read about 80 patches. In the summary screen, you'll see that the line graph plots the red, green, and blue channels in input versus output. And you'll want those 
those red, green, and blue channels to go from the lower left corner to the upper right. The channels should be as close together as possible and as linear as possible. Now this is an extremely well-behaved display, so these are very straight and very tight together. Uh, the color temperature, once again, easy uh, method, does not uh, set a target uh, color temperature or white point. You'll see that the current is 6200 Kelvin. Uh, the gamma, the target is 2.2, and the uh, current is 2.2 as well. And the luminance, the target, once again, uh, luminance is not defined, or it, it assumes that you're happy with your uh, current luminance setting and the current luminance setting is 135.3 uh, candelas per meter squared. You'll see that the monitor name will carry the name monitor in today's date. Uh, y that is, you can edit it and if you'd like. I'm going to keep it monitor in today's date. Uh, I profiled an LCD. LCDs are very stable devices and I have mine set to four weeks. There's no real need to profile a laptop or an LCD any more often than once a month. A CRT on the other hand is prone to far more drift and you might want to do it weekly or every two weeks. Uh, you can deactivate or activate the monitor reminder by checking or unchecking that box. And at this point you can select the before and after. In the before and after we'll show you an image of a woman along with a color chart and down at the bottom you'll have a calibration off and calibration on. When you click the calibration off button it will turn off the profile. When you select, when you click on the calibration on button it will turn on the profile. So uh, when it says off the profile is actually on. When it says on the profile is actually off. Uh, after you've evaluated your profile, you feel free to select uh, the summary, go back to the previous window, and at this point, you make your changes to your name if you'd like, or keep that. Select Finish Calibration, in a, and it will tell you that the profile is saved in the directory C, Windows, System32, Spool, Drivers, Color. That's where the profile will have to be saved for the operating system, Windows operating system, to utilize that profile. On a Macintosh computer, it will save it to Library Color Sync Profiles. Select OK, and there you have a uh, calibrated and profiled display.